On behalf of the Fredericton Fire Department, University of New Brunswick, St. Thomas University and the New Brunswick Community College, it's my great pleasure to have you here this evening for this important fire safety educational activity. Welcome to Dorm Burn 2014. So Dorm Burn is to show um, the gathered students and everybody through the social media that would follow with that how quick and dangerous a fire can be. But how safe it can be in a sprinkler building. We got there at 7.30 in the morning and started building and we built two full-size rooms. Uh, we had gone dumpster diving the week before and collected a bunch of uh, bedding and uh, you know sleeping bags and all that kind of stuff from what the students had left on uh, Windsor at the dumpsters. And then we put that all together and we built the rooms, kitted them all out, tried to make them look exactly the same. Uh, the sprinkler guys came from Troy. We uh, got them to install the sprinkler for us and um, we're ready to go. We've got two fire demonstrations here on the left. We have a room with no sprinkler system. On the right, we have a sprinkler system. Inspector Billings is going to start us a little fire. What I want you to watch for here is how long does it take the smoke alarm to activate? When does the smoke alarm fail? Because it will fail once the heat gets to a certain point. We're going to watch and we're also going to have some temperatures and stuff for you. That was really quick, wasn't it? We're looking at 22, 21 seconds. Note the fire growth. How fast is this happening? Where the smoke is? And how toxic that smoke is. It has hydrogen cyanide. It has chlorine. It has all kinds of PVC and other things in it. We're also looking for um, a flash over here. So what's going to happen in a couple of minutes, this is going to get so hot that everything in the room is going to catch fire at the same time. And it's going to be very quick. We're exactly almost a minute into this and look how much flame we have here. Can you hear the snapping and cracking? Look at, look at that. Can you feel that back there already? Until you feel the heat and see the flame and you're sitting right there, that's, that's the kicker. Now you're going to tell two friends, and they're going to tell two friends, and, and the word's going to get around, but it's from a credible source, which is you. You know, I can tell you all day, but if I show you... 1,128 degrees in. One minute and 25 seconds, folks. That's how fast it happens. All right? I'm telling you, when your smoke detector goes off, it's time to become a marathon runner. All right? All but get out. Have a look at that. Flashover is when the temperature is reached in the room that everything, all the contents burst into flame. So there's a spot where everything has a, a combustion temperature and it just, everything goes. And that's basically what we reached in that room. Not much left in there, is there? All right, let's move on to our second demonstration. Mr. Billings, please. Greg's going to get the fire going here and uh, we have a sprinkler in there that's set to go off at 155 degrees and that's basically the same type that you have in your dorm rooms. They're called a quick action sprinkler. So if everything goes well, this is not going to be much of a demonstration, we hope. We're at 21 seconds. Remember we were at a minute last time before we had lots of fire? So we got both smoke alarms are going off and there goes our sprinkler. That's how fast it happens in a sprinkler building. And there you go. Just about 42 seconds. A fire sprinkler system is to control a fire and keep it down until we can get there and put it out. So everybody in the dorm can sleep easy tonight, right? All right, I know that was fast. I know first part was exciting and the second part was a bit of a letdown, but we just wanted to prove a point to you tonight. So I don't know if you guys are pretty happy with that. Would you give us a round of applause for everybody that worked on this? Thank you very much. Thanks to our sponsors and thanks for you to coming out. Thank you very much. Fire started burning up towards the ceiling and after a while uh, it got so hot in there that even things that weren't on fire before just combusted themselves. 
and the plexiglass that was up there completely melted and started spraying on the lawn and it was pretty dramatic. The flames were really like cascading out of the building. It was really, really, really intense. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely feel the heat from like about 20 meters back. It was still pretty hot. It was really terrifying to think about how you could be in that bed and the bed was completely engulfed within less than a minute. It's really scary to think that that could happen to you and how fast it happened. It was a really good experience for all the students because uh, I'm sure nobody's interacted with fire like this. So it's definitely good for them to see and see what can happen in you know, a matter of minutes. I think it's great. I mean, it's always good to build awareness and uh, just keep us on our toes.